Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. Go to have a look at the weather for next 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 11th of February and we'll be able to extend out beyond that the extended GFS and ECM Ensemble because we're going to around a couple of weeks and we'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us to uh, pretty much the end of February. So I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video see was our 6am upload and uh, also release the uh, EC 30 day slash 6 weeks of for the UK and the rest of Europe too. So check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Uh, Terry Scarlett's February forecast will be released tomorrow, if that's okay uh, with everyone. So we've already done three videos today. I thought we'd uh, hold Terry's forecast back just one more day and uh, release that tomorrow on Wednesday uh, to give us some midweek content to go at. Uh, right, okay, let's crack on then and have a look at the section temperature. So we don't have the finalised number for the CT uh, yet for uh, January. It's uh, standing at 5.1 uh, provisional to the 31st of, um, you know, 31st of January, last day of the month. That's provisional, uh, which is 1.3 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. I still think it's going to come in somewhere around 4.9 to 4.5 with downwards correction but we don't have a finalized number for that yet hopefully we will have that finalized number um tomorrow for you these are the gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks we're at oxford today so red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for oxford and we're above average at most going to be a little cooler interlude coming up at the end of the week, and then we go very mild over weekend into next week, and generally just staying pretty mild, to be honest. Uh, right way up to the middle of February, and maybe even beyond it. There are one or two cooler outlier members, um, but I mean, really, it does look solidly mild, that, doesn't it, pretty much from uh, beginning to uh, end. If we have a look at the ECM and compare uh, how that's looking, um, so, again, you know, it looks very, very mild uh, indeed. Again, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average uh, for Oxford. We're above average at the moment. A little cooler snap coming up at the end of the week and then solidly above average right way through to the second week of February and even beyond it. So, a very, very mild, uh, very mild outlook in zonal two. We'll get a little bit more unsettled. So, relatively dry at the moment, but gradually we're going to see things getting. More and more unsettled, I think, as we get into the second week of the month and then up to the middle of February. Um, looks mild and rather unsettled. Temperature anomalies on the 1st to the 9th of February are milder than average. And precipitation anomalies from the 1st to the 9th of February are drier than normal. So another dry, mild week to come. Any sort of change to unsettled weather will be in the more extended range. The latest wind flow map from EarthNorthSchool.net shows up drawing in westerlies again today, even southwesterlies, um, and it, you know it's a very very mild day indeed. Taste of spring in the air. So this is how the UK met Euro. It's looking midnight on Friday. A cold front is pushing south east, was introducing cooler air from the north and from the northwest into the weekend. We go rather mild zonal and uh, westerly, southwesterly even. Uh, and that just carries on, you know, right way up to the early part of next week. So this gets us to midnight on Tuesday. And again, high pressure building up from the south. We're drawing up these very mild southwesterly winds. It's mainly dry again by that point. And uh, we're bringing up a really mild, if not warm, air mass from the southwest. Uh, icon looks like that. So we get a cold front pushing southeast. Once across the country on Friday, it's using cooler air from the uh, North Atlantic into the weekend. Looks rather cold and showery. And then uh, next week, high pressure sets up over France. There's low pressure on Iceland, looking uh, very mild, drawing wind up from a west or southwesterly direction. GFS midnight to run. Again, showing that uh, we bring a little cold snap in on Friday. It will be a one-day wonder over the weekend. Uh, we'll pull up a milder air mass from the west and from the southwest again. And then on into the uh, early part of next week, again, we've got high pressure to our south and uh, southeast over the continent, uh, where it has been throughout, you know, this winter on and off. And uh, low pressure, deep low pressure, strong polar vortex around Greenland and Iceland. That keeps weather driving in from the west and from the southwest. We just carry on pushing through these mild winds right way up to day 10. Beyond it, a little bit of a cooler interlude from the northwest again. 
Um, but overall, uh, once more, low pressure is in the ascendancy. I mean, plenty of wet and windy weather and uh, and temperatures, therefore, with uh, winds coming off the Atlantic will be relatively mild. The GFS 6Z, again, looks like that. And uh, we've got high pressure over France, low pressure over Greenland, Iceland, bringing up those southwesterly winds. Um, right way up to day 10, we just keep low pressure driving in front of the Atlantic. We keep pumping up those mild or very mild southwesterlies with the GFS 6M. Uh, beyond that is a cooler interlude. Uh, we bring the wind into the north very briefly around the middle part of the month. It is only a very, very brief cool interlude. And then we go off again into those mild west southwesterly uh, winds once more. So there's absolutely no sign of any sustained cold weather you know, uh, in the next couple of weeks of the GFS. Right, GM looks like that. So, uh, again, cold front is pushing southeast. We'll take a band of rain with it. And then we go into more showering scenario. There's brief cooler interlude on Friday. And then it's mild generally over weekend and through to the early part of next week. Plenty of high pressure to the south and east. Lower pressure out to the northwest. And again, we draw up those very mild southwesterlies. And then the ECM uh, once more takes a cold front southeast. was Cross country, but I'll take a band of rain uh, with it. We open the door then, uh, and very briefly cooler on Friday, and then we open the door to a mild Atlantic push as we go through the weekend. And that carries on into the early part of next week as well, still drawing up those very, very mild, if not quite warm, southwesterlies. We'll be more unsettled though. This low will bring quite a bit of rain if it comes off, and ice bars are tight packed, so uh, it will be pretty windy too. Uh, this is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tobetjo.com. So here comes a cold front on Friday. We're going to some rain evening to the south east where it's been really dry uh, recently. Behind that, we get wintry showers packing into the north and to the northwest. Um, over weekend, but the wet weather in northern and western areas in particular. Some wintry showers, of snow possible for northern parts of Scotland. Uh, and then uh, more wet to ever through the earlier part of next week, wet and windy then, and uh, a little bit cold with windy showers falling on behind that to wet to ever, and more rain piling in from off the Atlantic by day 10, which gets us to the 11th of February, so that could turn to snow again up in the north. These are the options that are on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, which gets us to the 11th of February. 18 members of the ECM Ensemble have high pressure over and slightly to the south of the country, low pressure way to the northwest, and that draws up wind from the west or a southwest direction, will be mainly dry uh, and mild with that. 17, again, with low pressure way to the northwest, high pressure over the country, mainly dry and uh, mild once more. And then 16 has... High pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. And winds are coming in from a mild or a very mild southwesterly direction. In two weeks' time, this is the option map we've got. Yes, the 16th of February, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure over country. So it will be mostly dry, mild and spring light. Uh, CFSV2, finally, these are 500 mm of our high spring down week beers. The first week period will take us from the 1st to the 7th of February. Coming week has high pressure pulled out into the Atlantic with low pressure away to the northwest winds will be coming in from a relatively mild westerly direction. And there's going to be a lot of dry weather with that too. Uh, week 2 will be the 8th to the 14th of February with again high pressure to our west and south. Low pressure is to the north winds are coming in. From a mild westerly direction again. Week three is going to be the 15th to the 21st of February, still with low pressure away to the north and uh, high pressure to the south. And again, winds come in from that uh, mild westerly direction. And then finally, week four will be the 22nd, 28th of February, low pressure again up to the northwest. High pressure is going to be a little bit further south, so that becomes slightly more unsettled. Still mild and westerly. Uh, but just a bit more unsettled, and that will bring wet weather to many parts of the country. So it takes a while to break down this ridge, but eventually, by the end of February, we're perhaps going to something uh, a little more wetter. Right, there you go, be done. If you enjoyed the video, please can smash the like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that, and drop a comment. Let's know about this and all of our videos. That's amazing, that's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that uh, for Gaz. Well, so uh, that's it for today's video. So, so the whole Terry Skull is back. Terry Skull is uh, February forecast back until um, tomorrow, I think. So we'll, we'll do that uh, tomorrow. We'll also have USA forecast and a 10 to 14 day uh, as well. So uh, you'll be able to see what Terry is predicting for February um, tomorrow. But for today's video, that's all for now.
And thanks for watching.